thought I'd spend a moment just telling you about pretty much the best CL site we think we found in the UK. Overall, this place has got it all. It's got price, location, um, nice amenities, really nice staff, um, and with the added bonus of a little legend that befalls it, which we'll find out about near the end. Um, but take a look, and you should definitely visit this place. Um, and if you've been already, let us know, or if you found any other gems that are like this, please share them. Um, but this, uh, this definitely proves me wrong about the UK not having as good sites as Europe. This is a really, really great one. So. Enjoy. Here with another amazing site for you. This time we're in the good old U US of K. Now we're in we're in we're in England and we are in near well near Louth um, in Lincolnshire, very close to where we live, and we have found an amazing place. Um, this is um, a site. It's Colin Brader's site. Um, C A Brader, I think it's called, but it's absolutely beautiful. So we're I don't know how many pictures they've got. Um, there's not electric points for everything and there's motorhomes and camping but there's there's not many people here at the minute um, but it's absolutely beautiful it's got um, some of the best things the land here I think we spoke to the owner and there's 52 acres of land that you can just walk around um, you can have dogs here there's electric hookup um, just over here which you'll see Behind me, that small building is a toilet block, and that's where your waste point is and your white water. So you can just drive over there and get it. Um, all grass pitches, um, and it's just beautiful. Um, really, really nice to have like 50 acres to go around. And there is a farm shop, but best of all, just through this tree line behind me, there is. Pick your own strawberries and gooseberries and I believe something as well. We haven't done it yet, this is only our second night. Um, but yeah, so well recommended this place. I think it is, I'll put the price up, I think it might be £10 a night, it might be a little bit more. But um, that is great with electric hookup, part of Lincolnshire Wolds, close to the Lincolnshire coast. Um, just a bargain site, amazing, you should come here. Across the road, we haven't been there yet. Across just the other side of that mound, apparently there is a sailing club, which I've not seen yet, but I've seen there's a parking area for it just down the road there, and there's also a walkthrough on this corner here. So, very, very lovely walks on this site. And for £10 an hour with electricity, considering I always moan about how much it costs to stay in the UK compared to Europe, this shuts me right up this place. Um, what else could you want? Um, Something else I've got to tell you about this site. I'll tell you a little story. Um, so I was out here. We've been here for two weeks now. We're only meant to stay for a week, but so cheap and so nice. We thought we'd stay for longer. And um, I was out walking with my pooches. There they are. There's the guys. I was out walking with the dogs one morning, and uh, you see quite a lot of rabbits here or hares. I'm not quite sure what, uh, what which they are. I'm not an expert on that, but um, I saw something massive jumping across, jumping across from one field to the other side. Um, not this bit, because this bit's the road, but just around this corner. And it was really big, and I thought it was another dog, so I was anxious straight away, so I tried to get my dog on the lead. It was quite far away, but it was big. And then I thought, oh, actually, because it was quite orange, maybe it was a fox. Um, which surprised me because I didn't really know that they were in fi like fields like this as much, that they were more in the woodland. Um, and then, so I kind of didn't think anything of it. I was just happy that it wasn't a dog, so my dog wasn't being erratic. Um, and then, speaking to a few of the other, um, a few of the other campers that come here a lot, and the owner, we found out that there is like a giant hare that um, that kind of that lives here. 
and it's kind of like anyone seen Wallace and Gromit uh, Curse of the Were Rabbit basically there is a pest giant hare that gets in and like absolutely destroys the strawberries um, so it's just like Were Rabbit so somewhere in all that in all that abundance in this 52 acres there is a monster a big orange hare monster um, that's eating all the fruit when everyone's asleep which I love and I just want to see him again I'm not going to be able to capture him on film even if I could see him he'll be miles away because he'll hear me coming but I hope I see him again fingers crossed you should come here you might find him you might find the were rabbit definitely be worth it or the were hare close to the um, east coastline as well um, in between Mablethorpe and Louth um, yeah what a place to stay recommended 10 quid a night